Welcome to the The Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is August 7th, 2024. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. The SEC has criticized Coinbase's request for a subpoena, demanding millions of documents, calling it overreaching and a waste of time. The SEC argues that Coinbase's request for emails from SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is disproportionate to the needs of the case. They assert that the court's analysis should focus on legal facts rather than internal SEC discussions. The SEC claims it has already provided over 240,000 relevant documents and that fulfilling Coinbase's request would require processing an additional 3 million documents, most of which would likely be privileged. The SEC contends that this burden is excessive and unnecessary for the case at hand. Coinbase is currently embroiled in a legal battle with the SEC, which alleges that the exchange operates as an unregistered securities exchange. Coinbase argues that the SEC has not provided clear guidelines on what constitutes a security, which it claims is essential for its defense. A recent ruling indicated that a judge found Coinbase's justifications for the subpoena unconvincing, although the company maintains that access to these documents is critical for its case. Despite the ongoing legal challenges, Coinbase reported $1.4 billion in revenue for Q2 2024, citing improving regulatory clarity as a factor supporting innovation in the crypto sector. The SEC and Coinbase have yet to respond to requests for comments regarding the latest developments. Starting in November 2023, Arbitrum's short-term incentive program, STIP, distributed approximately 71 million ARB tokens to enhance network usage, resulting in the generation of 6,149.3 ETH. The primary aim of the STIP was to attract users and increase activity within the ecosystem, with a successful program indicated by a rise in sequencer revenue. To analyze the program's impact, researchers employed the synthetic control method, which allowed them to isolate the effects of STIP from external market trends by comparing it to other Layer 2 networks. The analysis revealed that the total cumulative impact of the STIP was around $15.2 million, accounting for 43% of the total revenue of $35.1 million during the evaluation period. However, the total expenditure on the STIP was 71 million ARB, valued at approximately $85.2 million, leading to a significant loss of $60 million. This substantial loss highlights the need for future programs to optimize ARB spending and minimize financial losses. Further analyses were conducted on the STIP's effects on various decentralized exchange, DX verticals, including perpetual and spot DEXs, as well as yield aggregators. The findings and methodologies of these analyses are available in detailed reports linked in the original thread. Overall, the insights gained from the STIP are expected to inform future incentive programs within the Arbitrum ecosystem. Initia has announced the acquisition of AtCelotone and the team behind Alice Labs, enhancing its capabilities in the Web3 space. The newly acquired team will focus on the development and dominance of Initia Scan, which is positioned as a comprehensive tool for navigating complex rollups. This acquisition is expected to bolster Anisha's offerings without causing any service interruptions for existing external explorers. The integration of 10 new team members, referred to as Anishits, is aimed at improving integrations and tooling within the Anisha ecosystem. Key figures in this new team include At Tansawit, Topson Baer, and At Jenny Ramida, who bring extensive experience in the field. The announcement emphasizes the strategic importance of this acquisition for Anisha's growth and its commitment to providing robust exploration tools. Overall, the move is seen as a significant step towards enhancing Anisha's position in the competitive landscape of blockchain explorers. The thread by John Wugor discusses the impact of a recent 25 basis point interest rate hike by the Bank of Japan, BOJ, on risk assets particularly highlighting a significant drop in Ethereum's value. The author explains the mechanics of the carry trade, where investors borrow at low rates, like the yen, to invest in higher-yielding assets abroad. However, the recent rate hike has made borrowing more expensive and strengthened the yen, leading to a situation where those who borrowed yen now owe more in USD terms. This has triggered a sell-off among traders, who need to repay their loans, causing a cascading effect in the market. 
the author compares this situation to past financial crises, emphasizing the reflexive dynamics that can lead to rapid market declines. The BOJ's tightening monetary policy is seen as a response to inflation, which has put pressure on the yen and forced traders to liquidate positions. The thread concludes by suggesting that the market may not have seen the end of forced selling, as many traders were overly optimistic about interest rates remaining low indefinitely. Overall, the analysis highlights the interconnectedness of global financial markets and the risks associated with leverage in trading. Bitcoin's anticipated gilded years appear to be delayed as recent market dynamics have shifted investor sentiment. Initially, Bitcoin was trading near record highs, buoyed by the introduction of ETFs that brought digital assets into the mainstream and a pro-crypto stance from Donald Trump. However, this optimism was abruptly curtailed as traders were reminded that traditional market conditions heavily influence cryptocurrency prices. The article suggests that the current downturn reflects a broader trend where investor sentiment in traditional markets plays a crucial role in Bitcoin's valuation. Despite the initial excitement, the market has faced challenges, leading to a reassessment of Bitcoin's potential for a sustained upward trajectory. The piece emphasizes that, while the groundwork for a prosperous crypto environment is being laid, the actual realization of Bitcoin's gilded age is still a distant prospect. The author concludes that until there is a significant shift in investor confidence and market conditions, Bitcoin's golden years remain on the horizon rather than a present reality. The Ronin Network has provided an update regarding a recent incident involving the return of approximately $10 million worth of Ethereum, ETH. The network announced that the ETH has been successfully returned, and they expect the return of USDC later the same day. They expressed gratitude towards the White Hats for their vigilance and integrity in this matter. As a reward for their efforts, the Bug Bounty Program will grant a $500,000 bounty to the White Hats involved. Before reopening the bridge, Ronin plans to conduct an audit to ensure its security. Additionally, they aim to shift the operation of the bridge away from its current structure and will collaborate with Ronin validators to implement a new solution. The team thanked the Ronin community and their allies for their support during this process. For those interested in more details about recent developments on Ronin, they recommended reviewing their mid-year update, available on their blog. Diego Oliva has stepped down as CEO of the StarkNet Foundation after serving since March 2023. His departure was announced on August 6, 2024, and he will assist with the transition for the next month. James Strudwick, who joined the foundation in January 2024, will take over as the new executive director. During Oliva's tenure, the StarkNet Foundation successfully executed the Provisions Project and initiated several ecosystem development projects, including DeFi Spring, Seed Grants, and the Catalyst and Propulsion programs. The foundation also established partnerships with over 100 infrastructure teams. The leadership change comes as StarkNet aims to continue its growth and adoption within the blockchain ecosystem. The foundation expressed gratitude for Oliva's contributions and emphasized the importance of a smooth transition to maintain momentum. That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Stay tuned for more updates in the world of cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Web3. Until next time, stay informed and stay crypto savvy.